So in this video, I'm going to share with you a quick way that you can use multiple time frames to find those reversals and pick up those high risk reward trades. Now, by the end of this video, you're going to have a much better way to look at those markets to find entries. Now, this is not just using supply and demand. You can apply this to any type of strategy that you are using. So I'm going to show you from this monthly time frame on the Euro Japanese yen all the way down to a 30 minute entry, how you can look to pinpoint a trade from this low in the market. Now we're not going to know that there's a reversal here coming, but what you would be able to indicate is that we had a break of structure. One thing that I teach in all my courses is understanding the correct term of using market structure. We see the market breaking out, now normally we're looking for market pullback to an area of demand, and this isn't always going to happen. So let's go through exactly how you could identify a 30 minute entry here and to look for just the target if you wanted at these highs and then perhaps even these highs. But look at the amount of profit you could gain from this low all the way up on a lower time frame. So let's get into this video. First off, I want to mark off these previous highs. We have an area here of market structure. We can see the market's broken out, pull back to retest it. Now, many of you may be support and resistance traders. It's not the way I trade, but you can identify that it's a previous flip area where the market once found a resistance and is now finding a support. That's one way of looking at the market. So let's look at this area by dropping down to a weekly time frame. This is going to indicate how we can start looking for these reversals. So on a weekly time frame, let me just go back to that area. This is where we see the market make its first attempt to break, it fails, it drops down, and then we break up. What is that showing you now? That is showing you another break of market structure. So not only have we seen the break on the monthly, we've seen this actual new trend formation breaking market structure on a weekly, showing you the reversal already on the weekly. Do you see where I'm going with this? The use of multiple time frames, the use of market structure, is then going to start to show you where the market's showing you the reversal. Again, we're going to look at this area in a moment, how you could pinpoint with a 30 minute entry. But understanding the concept of use of multiple time frames and the use of where the market's reversing is going to show you how you can pinpoint them entries. Now, adding in a supply and demand concept, which what you can learn throughout all the videos in this channel, will then give you even a better trade entry. So once we've seen this, what I'm then going to show you is as the market pulls back, we'll make this low. So you can see that this is our last low. So what that's actually going to leave you is obviously this area here of demand. Now the market doesn't come back to that demand, but what you can see when we see the market pulling back, again we break out of this structure. Now let me just highlight this. It doesn't have to break this previous high by much. It only has to pip above to be a break of structure. That's exactly what we see. So the market is basically doing a retracement. We see it breaking up and when it pulls back here is when you'll be able to start to pinpoint the entries. What would you do at this point? Well, guess you go down to the next time frame. We're using multiple time frames here. So once we see this break up, I'm going to draw out this high. So you can actually see it on a daily. Now if we do a daily time frame, I'm gonna to have to shrink the chart down a bit. So there's that break of structure. You see, it's only by a few pips. And as it does this, what it's leaving behind here is an area of imbalance. So this is what I call an area of imbalance, which is left behind. And again, this is what is taught in much more depth inside my Forex Masterclass. So any of my students watching this video will understand how we look at using these. Now there's more to than just using imbalance, but we have the market dropping in to this area. It's filled it and it's made this pinpoint. So at this point here, we then need to look to start capturing those buys. We already know that the market has shown us that reversal on the weekly. It's now shown as a reversal on a daily. And what we're now looking for is an entry to pick off this low. So what we're going to do now is just go down to this area. Let's go to a four hour first. And let's go back to that area. So we see the market dropping down. Now at this point in the market, we don't see an actual reversal of any high, except for perhaps we could say this high here. 
a market breaks out, but that wouldn't be an actual reversal. We're looking for a reversal down here. Now we could go down to a one hour time frame next as the market comes in. We're looking for the trend. So we do have a trend here. We have this is our last fractal high when the market breaks out. It does break out of that area and we can start drawing out areas of demand. And this is actually fine. You could look at this and market comes back in and you start capturing that reversal. But you could even fine tune that more by dropping down to 30 minute. I wouldn't suggest going any lower than a 30 minute until you really understand reversals. Now on a 30 minute, we drop into that area and we break out this point. What that then leaves behind is this area of demand. And that is exactly where you would then have a set and forget strategy entry and you see the market rallies up. And from that point, if we was to go back and shrink the chart even more, you can see the profit potential on that type of entry. Now back to daily time frame, we already know at this point that we've broken out of structure that push up on that bullish candle. We're seeing the retracement. Look at the candles on the way down. In fact, let's actually go closer in because it's hard to see it on screen for you guys. Look at this one, two big bullish candles, all these small indecision candles back down. That is showing you that the market is just retracing and we're going to see another move higher. And again, to pinpoint that reversal, you go down to lower time frames, look for that reversal. And that comes into the confirmation entry. Now there is a three part series, which is in this channel where you can learn the idea of using trends, market structure, and the confirmation entry. I will leave the first video at the end of this video for you to go through and start learning how to use those three part series in your trading. So there you go, we've gone through multiple time frames from a monthly time frame to find that entry here and you could have looked for a trade. So what about when we see the market coming up to this high? Why are we seeing the market pulling back from this area? Well, we pinpoint this high, we can see the market's pushed through and it's reversed back down. So how would you look for a reversal here? Now this is a reversal trade, this is with the trend because we had a break of market structure. And we've now had another break here of market structure and you'll be looking for the market to pull back either to this area of previous market structure for buy or again you'll be looking for the market to come back to previous area of demand on the monthly. But if we now go to a weekly time frame here in the market and let's have a look at what's actually happened. So we see the market go up, we have a one candle push up and we start to drop out. Now again using a weekly this is our last low. We've only just now broke it. So again, how would we pinpoint that reversal to look for a trade here? Well, we go down to daily, multiple time frames. On a daily time frame, what do we have? We have this last high in the market that was broken right here on this bearish candle. Now it's up to you how low you want to go here, but I wouldn't go any lower than really a daily because we're starting on a monthly time frame. Once we've seen the daily here breaking this previous low and we drop through and then remove that arrow, we're left behind this area here and this area here of imbalance. And where does the market come back to on a pullback? It comes back to feel the high of that imbalance and the market drops away. So we know this is what's happening. How do we pinpoint an entry here? Let's go down to four hour time frame. I know that you're going to look at this and say it's all hearsay, it's what's happened, but if you start going through your charts and applying this type of technique, going through with live charts, forward testing it as well, then you will start to see how you can see these reversals. So what are we looking at here? Why did the market reverse from here? Well, we do have here in the market, if we combine these two candles on the four hour to an eight hour candle, it'll give you one drop base drop zone. You can see the market is dropped out, pulled back into that area of previous supply. So again, the market's pulled back into the air. We also have at this point an area of imbalance as well, where the market actually came into, let me just remove everything. Let me draw that out once more. This area of imbalance, the market came into that imbalance and dropped away. So how would you look for an entry here? Well, again, if you drop down to a one hour, most probably 30 minutes is going to be the best time frame. So let's go to 30 minutes. The 30 minute is normally the best time frame to find those reversals. 
So again, we have this last low broken out on that bearish candle. So this bearish candle breaks it. Now for an area of supply, I do not like this candlestick here. So I go off this candle and you can see the market straight away came back in. Now you could have used that candle perhaps on a lower time frame, better zone. If we mark that off, you can see we still came into it, but it's not the zone I like. So we came back in and if we shrink the chart out, you can see the drop away. So once you understand how to look for those reversals in the markets, that's how you can start to look for these types of trades. You can start from a monthly and work your way down looking for those entries, but you need a reason on the monthly first for why you're looking for a trade. Remember on this monthly time frame, let's go closer back in. We had a reason we had a break of market structure and a retest. We have a false break of a previous high in the market. Now you're not going to know there's a reversal here until you go through the multiple time frames. Remember, start off with the monthly, then look at the weekly, and then look at the daily to give you that confirmation of reversal. Once you start seeing the daily reverse, then you can start going through the lower time frames to pinpoint an entry to capture entry with the trend or against the trend. Now on this second entry, you'll be looking for a trade against the trend. So back to a 30 minute time frame where you took that entry, Let's see if I can find it. So here it is. When we took this entry, where would you want to be looking to take a trade to? Well, personally, I'd be looking to target these lows first. So once we entered, I look to target these lows, and then I look to target the next lows, and again, then finally look to target these lows. So we shrink the chart out to see where the price goes. You can see that targeting those lows, first target, second target, third target. It worked and then even on that you can see we had a drop down a pullback we could look for another entry most probably on a higher time frame here so let's go to this area on a daily now because we know the daily was showing you that reversal we've dropped out okay so it's not really going to give you an entry on a daily because we haven't broken structure so maybe on a four hour time frame here so let's go down to four hour and if you're enjoying this video and you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to give me a like and let me know you're enjoying this type of content. And you can see, and if there's anything you're not sure of what we've been through in this video, don't forget you can rewind and watch it again. So here we see the break of structure. This is that area of supply and there's your drop, pull back in, there's your entry and away we go. So again, you can even look at the higher time frames. Once you see the reversal of this low, which happens right here, these lows, you can then look to sell off here. Now, I'm just gonna quickly go through this point on the market, how you could have looked for a trade here off an even lower time frame. So if we mark that off, we're gonna go down now to, let's go down to 30 minute first, and then we'll see if we can go lower. I wanna show you how you can do this on multiple time frames. Remember this time we we'll started with a four hour. Now we've come up into this area we go to 15 there's our 15 now there's a area here but we want to go down lower we're going to look for five minute so there's your five minute so the five minute push up is this low that doesn't break until here so we want to find something in here so if we can go to one minute see if i can i don't know if i'll be able to so we can we can go to one minute oh we're too far back you can see now on the one minute this is our last low and we rally higher. So we break out right here. Now I don't think the market's gonna pull back. It might do, this would be the one minute area of supply. We don't quite come back to that one minute, unfortunately, but on the way down, the one minute did leave behind. Also for me, this area of imbalance, where you can see we came back to it to a pip. Now if you wanna learn more about this type of trading, then the masterclass which has still got just over half spots left for this year of those 50 enrollments is open. I'll leave it linked below in the description on this video. And that's going to teach you much more how you can trade with the use of the imbalances in the market. So I hope you have enjoyed this video today and showing you how you can look for those reversals by using that top down analysis with multiple timeframes and then looking for the reversal. 
Now we haven't really been through what you've learned in this channel with supply and demand here. This is just understanding the structure in the market. And that's a great way to look at your trading, understanding structure first and why the market moves. Then you can start implementing things like imbalances, your supply and demand zones, manipulations and everything else. I hope this video has been insightful. I hope it's going to help you with your trading. Now coming up next is a video that I did previously on understanding manipulations in a market. It's a strategy that you can look at to implement even with this type of trading. So do suggest watching it next, going through that video. It's going to help you to see how I look at those manipulations and how it can help your trading massively going forward. And I'll catch you all in the next video.